Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on API testing using SOAP UI or Ready API. This is part 3 of this series. Today we are going to see how to work with WSDL. Please subscribe, like, comment, share the videos on this channel. Let us begin looking at a WSDL example. Okay, let us go to Ready API. Um, let us go to File and click on new project so good api definition for this example i'm going to use uh, one of the url so there is a web service available on the internet uh, which is a calculator web service which is provided by dne online so this is the url which i'm going to provide it in the description also Go to this URL. Okay, the same URL I have used in part one of this video series. Okay, so let us go to this uh, URL and click on this. So there are four methods which are available. So these are called operations. So uh, there are four operations. One is add, divide, multiply, and subtract. So let us go to service description, click on this service description link to go to this. So let us copy the URL. Okay, go back to our ready API. And then select WSDL definition. Okay, and then I'm going to call this as WS WSDL project okay so I'm going to provide the URL here okay select create sample request for all operation create test cases for imported WSDL okay so these two are selected by default I'm going to click on OK Okay, so it found four operations add, divide, multiply, and subtract. Uh, it is going to generate a test suite, and the style which it is going to use is one test case for each operation. We can select this by selecting this, it will create a one test case for each of these four operations. I can also select the second one. In this case, what will happen is it is going to create a single test case with four requests or four operations underneath the one test case. So I'm going to select it as default and then click on OK. OK, so again, there are Two versions of it one is soap 1.1 and the other one is 1.2 so it's going to create for both okay click on close okay so if I go to this so it has created one project okay and then I have one test suite for so portion 1.1 and so portion 1.2 okay so inside this i have four test cases add test case divide test case multiply test case and subtract test case so each of them has got one soap request okay so now let us look at add operation. For add operation, it is going to take two integer values. If you look at XML, it's going to take two integer value. So int A and int B. I can provide it in the in the form of uh, form also. Okay, so I'm going to provide uh, some values here, which is four and this one as 6 I'm expecting the result to be 10 here okay 
as soon as I provide it in the form, so the same gets reflected in XML also. So this is the request which is going to hit the web service which is available on DNE online. Okay, let us click on send. Okay, it has sent the request and we got the response. The response is 10, which is sum of these two. Okay, so what happened here is, as soon as we provided the WSTL, it created all the test cases for us, which are related to different operations available inside the web service. Okay, the same way I can also work with divide. So for example here, I'm going to provide int a as 10 and int b as 2. Click on send, gonna get the result as 5. That is, result is 5. Same way, I'm going to give it for multiply also 2 multiplied by 3. I should be getting 6 here. Check out. I will add the values for subtract also for the sake of completeness 6 ok I am going to put 2 here so I should be getting result as 4 okay, which I got so now what I can do is I can go and click on the test suite and run all the test cases ok so this green arrow will run all the test cases Can click on transaction log and I can go to each of these test cases okay and see what happened and how much time it has taken okay okay I can compare uh, I can compare with the different test run okay and is also going to go and uh, see if I click on enable coverage I can click on this it will give me how much percentage of the contract is covered contract in our case is WSTL since we have not provided any values here so obviously it hasn't run anything but so we have covered all the test cases in calculator so okay so do this so in total we have covered 50 percent that is because we have run only calculator so Okay. Okay, and also I can run it at the okay for the time being. What I will do is I will delete this as I don't need it. I can remove this. Okay, I can run from the project level also. So what it will do is it will run all the test suites as well as test cases. If I go to project, click on select the project from the navigator window and click on this run the selected test suite. So, so it will also run on the okay. So there is only one test suite because I am running at the project level, so it is going to look at only the suite. So I have only one suite, so that is why I got the result for only one suite. Okay, so under SOAP UI project, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new functional test and I'm going to create an endpoint. Click on start. I'm going to provide the end URL for the one which is for 
redmi that is localhost slash redmi okay and then projects xml okay click on next i'm going to create a new project okay and valid code is 200 okay so this is response sla assertion so i'm going to disable this for the time being we will cover this in the later videos and then it has created this new project okay i'm going to click on run it has run this particular project and i got the xml response also okay so now i can create another test suite okay, i can rename this test suite as Redmine get all projects. Okay, I can rename this to get all projects. I want to re rename this request to So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another test suite here. I'm going to call it as Redmine get one project. Okay, and then I'm going to add a new uh, test case. I'm going to create get first project. And inside that, I'm going to create a REST request. I'm going to call it as REST project. So I'm going to create a new request. Okay, I'm going to paste this URL. And then instead of all projects, I'm going to get the first project, 1.xml file. Click on OK. So this should be getting me only the first project. Okay. So double click on the request, click on send. I got the response. Okay, so now let us run at the project level. So at the project level, I have two suites created. One is Redman get, uh, Redman get all projects and the second one is Redman get one project. Click on this run button and it should run. Okay, so now what I will do is in the second uh, test suite, I'm going to create another so REST request. I'm going to call this as second project. So here I'm going to create a new request. So again, I'm going to change this to project slash 2.xml. So I'm going to get the second project as well. So whenever I select this, I can run at the test case level also. Okay, and I can go to the test suite level. Now the test suite has got only one test case okay. you can click on run and then this will give me the result so what I will do is I will add another test case which is get second project 
correct. Okay, so what I will do is I will move this request from here to the second one. Okay, so now I have two test cases. Okay, I select the, the test suite and try to run it. Okay, now I have two results here. Okay, so this project is created based on WSDL. This is a SO project and this project is created based on the REST API. So that is the end of today's session. Please stand by for more videos on this channel. Thanks for watching.